Hello friends, we are back with another cafe hopping vlog. Heading over to our first cafe called Root. wanting to try this cafe for the longest time because of all the aesthetic photos I've seen online. Like if you love plants, minimal decor, and just a very simple chic design, then this cafe is for you because they have so many plants and such beautiful minimal decor that I was literally like, I just want to buy all the little trinkets that are in here. We got a vanilla latte as well as a matcha latte and they were both very delicious and made with a lot of love and care. I will say there is however not too much seating in the cafe so I'd say this spot might not be ideal for working but perfect for a quick little pick me up. Going along the theme of minimalist decor, we popped over to Woodland Mod, which is only a few blocks away from Root Cafe. This is probably one of my favorite shops in Seattle because of all the cute Scandinavian and Japandi inspired items. They have everything from mugs, wall prints, gloves, and so many beautiful home and lifestyle pieces. Definitely a spot to check out if you're looking for a new aesthetic piece to add to your apartment or even just a window shop. Like I could literally spend hours in the store. One of our friends really, really likes this place. He's like a huge bread fanatic. And he said this was like his favorite baker ever. Got a little, what are these even called? Like flatbreads. It has potato, rosemary, and some kind of cheese. Very good. The outside is a bit hard. You just gotta get to the fluffy center, I think. This would probably be really good if we heated it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> The next spot we visited was Paper Cake Shop. They're known for their beautifully decorated cakes and unique flavors. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, your name. We got two different cakes. One was a lemon cake with blackberry jam, and the second one we got was a vanilla cake with brown sugar miso soak and matcha buttercream. To be honest, I was a little hesitant on having miso in my cake, but it honestly worked really well. It was the perfect saltiness to balance the sweetness of the sugar and the bitterness of the matcha. I actually think I like this one better because it's more unique. The matcha one is really good. The combination is really good, right? I think the salt is usually bitter. our little cafe hopping journey and we're going to one of my favorite cafes Fulcrum Cafe it's actually pretty late in the day already it's like 4 p.m. but <laughs> yeah I know just gonna get a little pick-me-up do a little bit of editing work and then we're gonna go to dinner I feel like most people in Seattle know about Fulcrum Cafe, but if you haven't heard of it, it is a must try. 
Not only are the drinks here well made, but their baked goods are phenomenal. I believe most of them are supplied by Macrina Bakery, which is local to Seattle. You can't go wrong with any of the pastries, to be honest. This time around, I got a matcha latte and a toasted biscuit sandwich with egg, cheese, and a mango chutney. And I've never had mango chutney before, but it was so delicious. Today we're in Yesler's Terrace area, checking out a new cafe. Well, new as in like I've never been before, but I'm very excited. So it's already 11 30 a.m. and I haven't had coffee yet. This next cafe is called The Usual and it's located a bit further out from downtown Seattle. I was really intrigued by the menu, which has traditional Ukrainian food items in addition to coffee and other drinks. We got our typical vanilla lattes and also a mango serniki, which is a traditional Ukrainian sweet pancake made with homemade farmer's cheese. It was my first time trying Ukrainian food and I was blown away by how yummy this simple dish was. Like it was perfectly sweet and the tartness of the mango was complemented by the creaminess of the pancake. That's really good. It's almost like a sponge cake, but like ready too. I can't explain this. This was seriously so delicious and one of my favorite things I've tried during this entire cafe hopping series. <laughs> Hello friends, we just got done at the last cafe called The Usual. I didn't really talk much in that cafe because it felt like a very chill vibes cafe where everyone was just kind of like either doing work or just like enjoying a little like breakfast slash coffee moment. But I would definitely go back to that cafe and just do some work because they had really good vibes. The music was not too loud. They were playing lo-fi hip hop beats and it was just such a like calming atmosphere. Definitely recommend The Usual if you're looking for a spot to like just chill or do a little bit of work. Our next cafe was called Fable All Day, and since it was my first time visiting, I wasn't sure what to expect. It was more of a sit-down restaurant where you order at the counter and then sit down with a number and the wait staff brings the food and drinks out to you. Got a butternut squash soup. It's a seasonal soup. And then, what is this? Chicken sausage sandwich. <laughs> Chicken sausage sandwich. Chicken sausage sandwich. Chicken sausage sandwich. Chicken sausage sandwich. And then I got also a matcha latte. The sandwich was really interesting because it had horseradish in it, which honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of, but Matt really liked it. For the butternut soup, I usually don't like squash soups, to be honest, but this one was pretty solid and honestly a great savory dish for the chillier days. We just got done at Fable All Day Cafe. I got a matcha latte, which was pretty good, but I think I'm already like pretty caffeinated from the previous coffee that I already had, so... I'm feeling, I don't know, I feel like I'm, you know, you drink too much caffeine and you're just like, you feel like your heart's kind of beating faster, but then your brain is not, it's like on overdrive, you know? That's kind of how I feel. <laughs> Friends, are you okay? Anyway. <laughs> this next spot is called Floor Bakehouse and is another cafe that I'm visiting for the first time here. To be honest, we were gonna try to do some laptop work here and stay for a while since we saw online that they had ample seating in the cafe. And there were some people with laptops out and working, but when we asked about Wi-Fi, they said the cafe itself didn't have Wi-Fi to offer. But we still got some sweet treats while we were there. One was this lemon meringue croissant pastry. I think it's like a Krona, but I could be wrong. And the other one was a plain croissant. Since this was the third cafe that we visited that day, I was feeling pretty full from all the other food that we had already consumed, but it was still a nice little sweet treat to end the day of cafe hopping. Oh, yeah. 